Hi, everybody. Welcome to Astrology and Psychic Readings with Lady D. I'm your host for this segment, Lady D. I hope you've all had an amazing week ahead. We're here having a hot day in Sydney today, so our summer's just starting up. Um, we'll be getting some really hot days coming up here. Um, a little bit sunburnt. Um, but anyways, so this week what we've got coming up, we have a Mercury retrograde coming up. So that is going to be on the uh, run of 26th, 27th. So for me, it's more the 27th. For everyone else on the other side of the world, it will be the 26th. This, and I feel like this, because we're also getting really get, getting close for Mars, which your grade will be the week after on the around the 6th of um, December. There's already things because Mercury is in shadow, so it's on the path where it will be going retrograde. So things are already starting to happen, go haywire, miscommunication. Um, I feel like it's already starting to brew up in different aspects of people's lives. And so it is in Sagittarius, so I feel like during this retrograde, it will be until the 16th of the December. So it is going to be like not a time to take risks, a mix-up of communication, stories sort of even getting mixed up as well because we're in Sagittarius energy. So it's about storytelling as actors and actors and actresses. It's risk-taking. It's, um, it's a part of it being spiritual. It's also about learning and it also is travel. So tra- traveling, hey, I'm, I am traveling during a retrograde, not the best time. So there's going to be a, there could be a lot of um, chaos, mix up uh, to do with travel plans. Um, as I said, not good to take risk, communication, a bit haywire there. And entertainment, you might find there could be some problems during entertainment or celebrities coming out with certain issues, certain problems, backlashes um, in that area as well. Um, even if you're trying, if you're doing a workshop or you're doing the learning, that could be problems in that area too. So we are going to be dealing with a bit of a problematic um, time with that there. As I always say, the positive part about Mercury retrograde, at least for me, is that someone from the past always comes back, whether it be someone that you worked with, someone, a friend, people from the past always, for me personally, comes back. Um, so that's always, I feel like, a good thing that happens during this time. We've also got um, a, we saw in that opposition with uh, Mercury and Jupiter, and I said, I said after that, when we get into retrograde, we we're retrograding, opposing that Jupiter. So there could be something unexpected, luck or communication coming up, and it's be positive from the past, or so sort of, um, communication coming up quite positive. We've also got which is causing a bit of turbulence, the um, Mars and Pluto opposition. It's not direct opposition, but it's still in that frame that they call it an opposition. Uh, when Pluto, when Mars goes retrograde, it's going to be directly opposed Pluto, and then when it goes forward, it will oppose it again. So that is going to also be um, some interesting times with that. Um, we've also got uh, until 27th, we've got a sextile with Venus and Saturn that's going to be um, help us through any problems with relationships and finances. Um, we've also got until the 25th, we've got a try between uh, Venus and uh, Uranus that's unexpected with, with relationships or money. You might meet unexpected, someone might, you might, sorry, I can't speak. You might meet someone unexpectedly or there could be some sort of unexpected um, finances or money coming in with that. That's going to be until the 25th with that, um, that transit as well. Um, so we do have a lot of stuff that's coming up. I feel like just try and be patient. What's also going to come up with this retrograde? I feel like there's going to be people like blaming people and not taking on responsibility. Um, I feel like it's a time where you double check everything or plans. Um, I feel like it's about sometimes people can make a mess of things and that might be coming up too. And I feel like it might yeah, have a feeling of feeling stuck, not able to progress or move forward. Um, even though you're trying to move forward, it could be a sense of people I mean, leaving um, leaving your space during this time as well. But, yeah, just be patient during this retrograde. Let's go to the caller. So we do have Jean, who's from um, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, in America. So hi, Jean. How are you Joan. today? Joan, good. How are you? Joan, I'm good. How can I help you? Oh, I need a lot of help. Um, 
I wanted to see if you knew where I would be living and if you knew if the man in my life was either started with a J or an M and just what was happening in my future coming up because it's a mess right now. Okay. Um, all right. So what I feel like, I get us with the moving. I feel like there's a, a, could be a moving like a six with this, where it be June next year or six months, six weeks, six. I got a six and then I did hear June, but I feel like there could be um, a move for you. But this is somewhere I feel about, like wherever about you're six moving. Hours. Oh, it could be six hours as a six, but I feel like it's okay. this is like cost effective or it's cheaper wherever you're going to. I feel like. Um, it's allowing you to put more money aside is what I feel like. So I feel like this is like where you're going, it's somehow a cheaper move for you. Um, and I feel like that there's a sense of worriedness and anxiety. It's like you've got a rain cloud above your head. So when I see that, I feel like people are expecting this doom and gloom. Um, but I feel like, I want to say by February, I feel like things are looking a lot clearer and a lot better for you. You're also standing your ground in a certain situation. I feel like someone's trying to like push you or try to the, the, like pull the wool over your eyes. And I feel like you're, you're not taking it and you're not standing up for it um, either. I want to go to the, when it comes to love or romance, there's a second person I feel like there's a second love or a second person. I feel like I want to go with the second person, not the first person. Um, I need a name or a letter of a name. What was, so what were the two initials you had? Was it a J? Ember, Ember J, yeah. I don't want to go with the J. I, I, I'm hearing the J, not maybe not the positive. Maybe he's the one that's more closer to you. I want to go with the person that's further back, and I feel like, because I feel like that's the second person and that's the person that's um, more in alignment with you. Like I feel like there's friendship, but something blossoms from friendship with that person. Um, I feel like the J person is like there's a greediness with them. Like they want to take things. They want to take it all. A um, little bit controlling as well. And you need yeah, to be a like free spirit. Good. Sorry? No, he's not. He's not controlling at all. He's just scared. Uh, okay, you know I if my feel like be out of state or... okay. There's something about this person. For the, the, you go to see them in a different light. The true colors could be shown in. Um, let me get it. It's a time. Okay, so my get boyfriend a time and I were in an apartment together last February, and he took off and left in July. So as of tomorrow, I'm going to be homeless. He wants me to move with him to Virginia. Tells me he loves me, but I do love him, but I fell more for somebody up here. And I don't know to go to Virginia to stay in PA if the one up here will come around. So is this the J? So is that the switch is a J name? Is that the J with the one that wants you to move? Or is the J the one that the, that's closer to you now? J is the one that I have deep feelings for that's just very guarded. That's closer to you now. I'm just confused. Um, uh, what I want, what I want to say is the one that I feel like that's wanting you to to go where they are. I don't feel like it's a good. I don't feel good to go with them. I feel like they um they twist things around, and I feel like that right. it's like they're not suited suited to you. Um, there's someone else that I feel like is going to come into your life here. There's someone else that's going to come in, but I feel like. I feel like there, if there's a female around you, it's going to save the day here. I feel like there's going to be a female that's going to be coming in who's going to help you to clear up a mess, like, so clear, like clean things up for you, who's going to try and make things more smoothly for you. Uh, it's could be someone in your family, but I want to go with like a female that I feel like is going to come and really help you through this tight situation. Uh, I, got, I, I really think don't, don't, go, don't go and stay in your car but I, I feel like that there, if you can get somewhere like cheap to stay, but this move is going to be, I feel like this move is, even though it seems doom and gloom at the moment, I feel like this is like going to turn out to be quite positive for you. Cause I feel like that, um, give it two months, you're going to be able to put your feet up. And I feel like you're in a better area, a better, there's a better transition what's going on around you. 
um, I feel like, I know you're scared, but I feel like don't be scared because I feel like next year there's a free, more of a free flowing of money for you as well. You've got to be careful um, of who's around you because I feel like people, um, especially when they're looking at partners here, they want to take things from you. It's like they're, they're taking more than they're giving. And so I feel like you need to have I your wits about you. No. Right. Okay. I feel like you need to have, and feel like you need to have your wits around you, about you, and where you're, um, who you're spending time with. But I do see someone coming in. I don't know if you, I don't know if you met them yet, but they are. I feel like going to be more true for you. Their colours, um, like they're very, they're very, very truthful, and they are also very encouraging for you as well. Um, but I feel like I'm just hearing, like, don't panic. Things are going to sort itself out. But I get a female that's cleaning up a mess around you. Not necessarily a male. Um, that would be Mark's step over to me if you're helping me. Oh, okay. Because that's like that a phone call. Step over to that's helping me. Okay. Oh, okay. Because I again? feel like I feel like I feel like she's um, someone that I can that you can trust as well. Um, kind of like there's no, no nonsense with her, but I see her helping you and getting you to where you need to be. That's Tiffany because she's been here helping me. Mark's stepdaughter. Okay, cool. She's All right, the only one by my side. Well, that's what I get. I get, yeah, more of a female than a male around you. But thank you for calling in today. Can you just answer one question? you think Jim will come around, or you think I should just give up on that? Look, I'm hearing a no. I feel like there's someone else that's coming that's going to be more true. There's someone else coming that I feel like is um, going to sort of blow you away a little bit. But it's not until uh, at some point next year that they're going to come. Okay. Okay, right. I hope I've helped you today. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. So, everybody, um, let's say we're going to have some chaotic times ahead with this Mercury retrograde. Next year, we'll be live from New Zealand. Um, so, it'll be exciting for next week coming up. Um, so, if you want to contact me, you can. My um, website is Lady D Stocky Parties. My Facebook is also Lady D Stocky Parties. My Instagram is Lady D Psychic. And my TikTok is Lady D D Psychic and my YouTube is Lady D or Daniel Psychic. So thank you and I will see you same I'll uh, see you different place that same time next week. Okay, bye. Bye for now.